back to my channel. Welcome back to the returning subscribers and to the new subscribers. I see you. Thank you so much for joining the Vuluia Nation. If you haven't already subscribed and you're viewing for the first time, subscribe down below. So today's video is one that I'm super excited about. Um, I am a bit late to the bandwagon, but better late than never. It is my very first wear, test, and review. I got the Revlon Candid Collection. I did not get the concealer. I only got the foundation as well as the setting powder. And that is simply because I could not find my shade in the concealer for my life. Like literally, I couldn't find it. So no problem. We're going to work with the foundation as well as the setting powder. Another product that I'll be trying out for the first time today is the Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. I got this, um, I got this in a PR bag a couple, like probably about a month ago. So I'm really keen to see what it's gonna do for a natural finish because that's what we're trying to go for today. I'll just be demonstrating to you guys how it is that I achieve a natural finish. Hopefully this Revlon foundation might just be the one. As you guys know, I've been loyal to Estee Lauder. Dumb wear. And today I'm gonna cheat for the very first time. But that is the whole point of being a makeup blogger, makeup YouTuber, is to try out different products, review different products, and that's the kind of content that I'm trying to drop for y'all. So I have already done my um, my brows off camera. I did a sort of natural finish brow using my Huda Beauty brow. Huda Beauty. Using my Huda Beauty brow pomade in the shade black. And I went in and concealed and tidied up with my LA Girl HD Pro Concealer in the shade Chestnut. Now, I usually use the shade Fawn, that's my wintertime concealer. And that is simply because wintertime I tend to get lighter and summertime, springtime, I tend to get a bit darker. And I've already started getting darker. So to achieve a naturalish brow, I went in with the Chestnut and it's kind of perfect. I was trying it out actually. Yay! So okay, hi boy people men, so let's get straight into the video! Right, so as per normal, I'm going to start off by priming my face. I could not find a mattifying primer, Yerevlon, and that glow primer, I wasn't wanting to go for it because I'm prone to oily skin. So anything that's like super hydrating, super glowy, it's usually not really a good mix for me. So I stuck to my Estee Lauder, the uh, mattifier shine control primer. I'm just going to go in with a little bit there, use it sparingly. I feel like I'm in a movie because I've got like one small mirror over here and one like super d Also, can we please just take a moment to appreciate this mirror? Shout out to Discam OK for <laughs> looking a girl. <laughs> so anyway, as I was saying, as I was saying, I feel like I'm in a movie because like I'm seeing all of these different angles of my seal and it's just like <laughs> I mean, um, let's try that again. This is a natural look, so there's no need for me to apply like um, eyeshadow. You can, however, apply eyeshadow with natural looks, but for this look, I just want a simple skin like finish. So I'm just gonna conceal some of my spots. It is once again almost that time of the month, so you know what that means. You know what that be meaning. Uh, spots! So let's just go ahead with the. Um, LA Girl Pro Concealer, the chestnut shade again. Um, I have tried concealing with lighter shades in the past. However, I wanted to try concealing with something that is my shade because you find that, well, I usually find that the lighter shades, like, um, they come through my foundation. So it looks like I've got light patches on my foundation, which I don't really like. Or I have to put in, like, over time to try and um, blend them in, which I don't like. So, I'm gonna try this baby. Okay. Right, so my spots are 
basically concealed. I'm gonna go in with my Niva foundation brush, my Real Techniques foundation brush. As you guys know from my previous video, my old foundation brush came to its demise when I tried to wash my makeup brushes using a technique <sighs> that includes vinegar. Anyway, I'm gonna buff this out with my foundation brush. It's a flat, sort of concave or convex, I'm not sure which is which, foundation brush. Ooh. I'm really liking this coverage. Okay, other girl. Are you guys seeing this? Next up, I'm gonna go in with the foundation, and this is in the shade 530, which is Pecan or Noir de Pecan. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna go in with, um, I'm gonna start off with like two pumps. Right, next up I'm going to highlight just a little bit with the shade Toffee, which I'm also trying out for the first time. So I'm going to use chestnut again instead of mahogany just to add a little bit of color to my face. Right, and then next up, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of highlighter and I'm gonna use my fluffy brush to do that instead of a fan brush, just so that I can get more control. And so it doesn't have that concentrated vibe to it. Just brush that on there. Just a little bit. Little bit of highlight ain't never killed nobody. And then I'm gonna go in with my Baylay eyeliner. I really like this eyeliner because it is very dark. 
but I'm not gonna make it too dark. I tried this out a few days ago and I really really loved it, really loved it. I'm gonna go in with the second layer because I'm that girl. Yes ma'am. In the meantime, I'm gonna go in with my NYX lip lingerie in the shade number 10, Teddy. It says Teddy slash our sun, so that is the name of the shade. I had already primed my lips with um, Vaseline. Vaseline. <laughs> Last layer of mascara. There's only two layers, guys. Two layers. And there we go. And final step: the Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. Look, ladies and gents I really do like it it does say that it's a medium coverage buildable um, it does say that it's lightweight it doesn't say how long it's supposed to last but one would presume it's supposed to last the whole day so I'm just gonna test it out and give a review as it stands I really like how it feels on my skin it really does feel lightweight and it doesn't feel my skin doesn't feel icky it doesn't feel it feels like I'm not wearing makeup basically and I think it kind of looks like I'm not wearing <laughs> I'm gonna check in again um, in the afternoon, in the evening rather. I've got a couple of errands to run, um, my pop into campus, and I have to go off campus for a couple of things. So that'll give me in enough opportunity to expose myself to not only sunlight and like the air and everything. It is an anti pollutant, so we're gonna hear stuff out too. This is the time right now, so we're gonna check in again and see how this treats me. Your girl looks nude. Ah, see ya. All right, so Valoians, I've spent the whole day in the Revlon Candid Makeup, and this is currently the time. It is currently 6.38 p.m., and this is what I have to say about the makeup. The foundation feels quite light. It still does feel a bit lightweight, and I, the whole day, I didn't feel as though I was wearing, wearing makeup, and... A lot of people who commented on like my face and everything didn't feel as though I was wearing a heavy set of makeup and I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed not feeling as though my pores were clogged up or that I needed to touch up on anything. I would sometimes forget that I was wearing makeup which is really 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 dope. We could say so. <laughs> we could say so. <laughs> but basically I am... Um, Essentially, in a nutshell, I'm really, really, really impressed with this foundation. I'm really, 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 really happy. So, yeah. And then, in terms of my concealer, I did not feel as though it, it like tried to come out, which is really great because I was trying out the toffee, um, the toffee shade as opposed to the fawn shade. The fawn shade, once again, I really feel as though it's great for either nighttime colors or um, winter shades. So I would definitely recommend the um, Candid, the Revlon Candid foundation as well as the Revlon Candid setting powder. Not only because the foundation fits my skin, um, you wouldn't define your 
definitely fit in the foundation but also because the foundation the setting powder as I've mentioned before it does fit my skin tone it's not an exact fit however it does blend in with my skin tone a bit better otherwise I give it a I give it a solid 9.5 8 out of 10. <laughs> I literally give it a 9.8 out of 10 because of the fact that it has stuck to my skin. I didn't need to touch it up and I I really don't feel as though it's tacky and stuck to my skin or that I I don't feel any weight on my skin. So I'm I'm really happy with it. Alright Valoians, thank you so so much for tuning in and thank you to the new Valoians for tuning in. I really hope that you enjoyed my very very first <laughs> review as well as a wear test and I hope that you stay tuned to more Valoian greatness. Mwah!